Alliance Retired Americans come down and talk to you. Rich Fiesta is the executive director. He's going to have a presentation basically telling you all about the Alliance and what's going on with the Alliance. And we have some other people, communications people, our field people will be coming down during the course of the week. And maybe our legislative person will be coming down. Because the Alliance is a, a very important entity. Uh, <coughs> George Corpus. Everybody know George Corpus? Yeah. 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 Okay. George Corpus was a founding president. And I'm privileged to follow in his footsteps. Um, after Barbara, in between Barbara Easton from the CWA was the president. And I worked with a guy named Joe Peters from the UAW, who's the Secretary of Treasury. But in any event, I'm not going to take too much of your time because uh, Rich has a nice presentation for you with slides and all that stuff. I don't do you know, all that slide stuff. But um, we are at a very critical time. We are at a very critical time. Um, and I'll give you some examples. The pension system in our country and in many countries is in a lot of trouble. And many of us have suffered as a result of schemes and scams of corporate America and the lack of oversight by the federal government. And, and uh, Ed spoke about uh, coming from TWA, Charlie Collegi came from TWA, and the average person didn't have anything else but TWA probably gets four or five hundred dollars a month in retirement if that. Because of Mr. Carl Icahn. <coughs> Carl Icahn, strip pension plans and all that kind of stuff. And you know, that's Donald Trump's right hand man. I don't know if you know that. That's Donald Trump's right hand man. Carl Icahn who took away my pension. So anybody for call for Donald Trump, just think about the fact that he takes away people's pensions. He's done it a number of different times. But I'm not here to talk to you about that. So pension security is very important. It's important to the Alliance for Tired Americans. It's important to the labor movement. It's important, it's important to labor and working people in general. We're headed for a crisis in this country. Many of the state taxes that you pay go to taking care of the homeless. You pay state taxes, sometimes that takes care of the homeless people in your state. See the brother here from Honolulu. They had to build a shelter in Honolulu to get the people off the beach, I think. A homeless shelter in Honolulu to keep the people from sleeping on the beach. It's all costs money. And people who lose their pensions wind up getting Medicaid, which costs every state and the federal government a lot of money. And these are people who don't want Medicaid. They don't want to sleep in public housing and all that kind of stuff. They want to retire with dignity. <coughs> We've been meeting with a number of different people on this issue. And I'm also a member of the Pension Rights Center. And we've been meeting with a lot of different people. Government people, academics. We're going to have a meeting sometime this month down at the AFL-CIO. And we have to present to them, to the government, the next President of the United States, a comprehensive plan to fix the pension system. We've got people with 401ks. Now, 401ks, people have 401ks, some people like 401ks, some people don't like 401ks. They exist today. And some of them give you a pretty good benefit, you know what I mean? They match you dollar for dollar, Southwest Airlines, dollar for dollar. But, but nobody participates in these plans. So we were talking to the, to the people at the government, and they said, well, you know, maybe there should be some more regulation on education, on what you do, how you invest this money, because you can invest this money where you may be putting in 85, a dollar, you only invest in 80, 85 cents, because they're taking the, these guys are taking all your money. It was a big thing. The government, the Department of Labor, just made a rule that you had to have some more responsibility to people. I venture to say, major corporations, maybe 25 percent of the people participate in these plans. Where they're getting, you know, this money, this free money, I guess you call it. So we think we have to have a comprehensive plan and develop that. We're trying to do that so that people will know about pension plans, and so that the younger people, because a lot of the younger people um, don't want a pension. They said, give me extra dollar. We, we've all been through it. We were young. We didn't care about pensions. We wanted more money. But we have to educate people because if new people don't go into pension plans, the pension plans will die. And if people don't want to fight for good, strong pension plans with a defined contribution, defined benefit plans, the process dies. And it comes from a government bailout. The government's bailed out United Airlines. They bailed out U.S. Airways. They bailed out Tasty Bread. They bailed out... Hawker Beechcraft, they bail out all these companies. Now the burden is on the federal government. The federal government say, we don't have any money to pay for these benefits. 
They said, how are we going to pay for it? Central States, the Teamsters plan, which was overseen by the government for the last two decades, is broke. Now, people are going to lose their pensions. They were going to try to cut their pensions now, effective immediately, retirees. But they couldn't do it for lots of different reasons, a lot of work. So we think that that's very important. We think that the fight for the fight for uh, Medicare is a good fight. A lot of money being spent, it shouldn't be spent money. Um, the prescription drugs, which is a big problem. I think Rich is going to get into some of that. These are, these are major problems. To make sure, ensure that we have um, Social Security. We put the money in, we want the money out. It's just that's, that's how I see it. We put the money in, we want the money out. But the interest in their schemes or scams or whatever it is that they think they're talking about. We'll be back by the full faith of the United States government. We want our money as we put it in, as the commitment was made to us. So these are some of the things that the Alliance is working on, and we're working on also with all the affiliate unions. We try, all the affiliate unions, we try to develop relationships because we do work for the affiliates. The Alliance is part of the FLCIO, and we work for the affiliates, <coughs> all the affiliates. And so we want to continue down that road. We want to continue to start fighting for those things to make sure that People can continue to retire with dignity, retirement security, with dignity. We believe, there's a lot of people that believe that if we don't get this done now, it'll never get done. If we don't educate the young people now, they'll never get educated. We were some teachers up in New York State, and someone said, well, how do we, well, you were a teacher. We want you to get back into the schools, volunteer, and teach classes to people, you know, teach them about pensions and teach them about these things. We can, we can work that out. we work on some kind of plan like that. But we have to have a massive plan of education for the young people to understand. Now, when I went to TWA in 1975, everybody I got hired with said, I'm only going to be here two years. I'm going over here. I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to two years. So if I was fighting, and then 30 years later, they're all in. <laughs> <laughs> they're all in. Okay? Nobody left. And so the youngest said, well, I don't have to, I, I, you know, I don't want to define benefit. I want 401k because I'm not going to be here, but they're going to be there. And so we need to educate people, our children, our grandchildren, to, to make them understand the importance of these things. The reason I tell you all of this is because, again, we are hopeful that during this election cycle that we elect a president and a Senate and a Congress that understands working people, that's willing to fight for working people. Yeah. Now we've had, I'm not here to debate the issue. This union has already endorsed Hillary Clinton. Uh, but I'm not here to debate that. Some people for the other guy, and some people for this other guy. What I'm here to tell you is this. In the end of the day, we're gonna have a candidate. Maybe this week. Yeah. We will have a candidate. And it can be no solid grapes. It can't be, well, I'm not going to stay home. I don't like this person. I don't like that person. We have to rally around the candidate. Because I'm telling you, I've listened to these people, some of these people. They said, Chris Christie out of New Jersey. Anybody know Chris Christie out of New Jersey? Mm -hmm. Donald Trump's right hand guy? Mm -hmm. He said they took the money. Forget about Social Security. That's what he said. A lot of them say those people who are in power over there, forget about these benefits, forget about retirement. There's no money. There's people who would do away with Social Security if they could. They would do away with pension plans if they could. Health care, gone. They'll do away with the Affordable Care Act. They don't have any idea what they're replacing. So we have a responsibility. And it's an enormous responsibility. And as to vote, and to make sure everybody you know votes, and make sure they vote the right way. Because they're not backing this other guy because they like him, they don't like him, but they figure he's the one, he's, he's the one that's there, he's the one that will do their dirt. Now here's a guy that will stand up and say that a judge, I think it's a district judge, will not treat him fairly because he's Mexican. And yesterday he said, so you're talking about a guy who became president of the United States. Okay? So if he became president, that means that diversity, that the best and the brightest, all that goes out the window. 
because he doesn't like the way some people look. This is what the man has said. He has said that he will not pay back the debt of the United States government. Do you know what that means? That means your Social Security is gone. Because your Social Security is backed by the full faith of the American United States government. If, they, if we don't have the AAA rating, forget about all this other stuff. So again, I know those people, there are people who, who believe, uh, we, see, we get this discussion of who believe in, in one candidate or the other. We will have a candidate. There's no doubt. And we must all support that candidate. And the Alliance for Retired Americans has been putting together a program to go into certain states and do certain things to support that candidate. And so I, I'm hopeful we're going to do our part. I'm hopeful everybody else does their part because this is, this is very significant. People say, well, this is the most important election. I think it must be all important because every time we hear about <laughs> reset, every time we reset, this is the most important election, Robert. This is the most important election, Robert. And well, goddamn, man, I'm going for 40 years. It's all important. It's the most important. This is a very significant election. It really is. That's right. This is it. This is it. And so we must vote. <coughs> and we must vote for the right way. And we must make sure our children vote our grandchildren of age vote, and our neighbors vote, everybody to get out there and vote. Because they may have a lot of money, we have the votes. If we deliver the votes, we will get a president of the United States, and I know the person who will probably be the candidate. We will be able to sit down with that person and say, this is what we need. And develop a program, a process through which we can move forward. And we have to, get, we have to start looking at the Senate and the House. Make sure you vote the right people in. Because for the people who are supposed to be the best and the brightest that America has to offer, we got some strange people up there in Capitol Hill. Oh, you got that. <laughs> <laughs> say the dumbest things. Okay? I walk through those halls. Tony Padilla there. Tony Padilla. He's taking me through the halls. And him and uh, uh, Hassan Sal, they take me through the halls. We want you to meet these guys. And these guys stand at the door and they got their hand out for the check. And Tony has to hand in the check. And you get in there and they say, well, Tony, I don't know Tony. Uh, you know, they give Tony the who shot John. Okay? But Tony knows them all. He knows them all. And he knows the good guys and the bad guys. And we have to have more good guys. We have to have more good guys than we have bad guys. But these people are strange people, believe me. I've talked to them. I said, you know, I thought, like, I came down here from the Bronx and I said, wow, man, I'm going to be in the House of Representatives. I'm going to be in the Senate. I'm going to meet all these smart people. Wow. <laughs> it's unbelievable, you know. Nice. Some of them are very nice. They just don't do anything. Uh, so we have to look down that road, look at people who we can elect that will support a good president, support the ideas of getting people decent wages and benefits, and getting people good health care, maintain the promises that we were made, the promises that we paid into, and we must do all those things. So we are looking forward to the assistance of everybody here. We're looking forward to the assistance of everybody throughout the country, all the working people. We're hopeful that the AFL-CIO will be making an endorsement soon. Uh, I think more over 60% of the unions already endorsed somebody. It should be very close to getting that done. And we're going to go to work, and we're going to elect a person that will best represent the interests of the American people. So I don't want to take up much of your time. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak to you. Uh, it's always good to come home. They feed me over here, you know, and retirees are always good for food. You know what I mean? We come from the <laughs> But uh, anyway, thank you very much. We're going to have Rich Fiesta, Executive Director. I work with him very closely. He does all the work, and I, and I take all the glory. That's the way it is. <laughs> 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 thank you.